Hello, Randall Monk and Ronald Vizain here. Hi, everyone. We're here with a gem of wisdom from Archangel Michael. We have repeatedly told you to heal the past, script your future, and then live in the moment. For this is the very moment, for this very moment is the still point of the power center of creation. That is such a profound thought or a profound information. And yet we don't fully understand the magnitude of it. First of all, we came in on a pillar of light. We were a pillar of light in a sphere of light with our diamond core God self within us and we gradually built our cloak of flesh. And as we came down through the ages, we began to create, Let's, we're sticking with this, this sub-universe. And like I said before, this pillar of light that we were, we began to build this cross of matter. And we've talked about this before, how unwieldy it was in the spectrum of light and shadow. And we received all of the information, all of the, 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 the God light. We were attracted to our sacred triad, which was attracted to back up all the way to the Supreme Creator. This, the light, the lifeline originates in the omniverse beyond our wildest imagining and streams throughout all, all sentient life being, all creation. And we talk about those three cords that come down, or this life cord. We talk about the silver cord in the ancient teachings, which was really three cords, which we'll talk about later. We've talked about before, and we'll talk another time. But that was the lifeline energy that gave us everything we needed, the power, the will, the wisdom, and access to the higher wisdom as long as we were able to tap in, our frequencies were such that we could tap into it. But as you see, as we sank down into the density, that cord got more and more narrow until we ended up that we were only getting, and in, we're talking about our descent into this. And I don't even like to call it the fall because we didn't fall. It was, like Michael said, it was not our fault. It was just through circumstances, through the great, the beings of light that were in control at that time, trying things that didn't work and were the result. And so here we are now down in this third and fourth dimensional environment. And most of humanity is living or existing on half spectrum light. We breathe, the, the, they call it the mana or the prana, and we breathed in the light. We breathed in, it was the sustenance that we needed. It's a life giving we could not live without it. You can go without water for a while, you can go without food for a little longer, but you cannot go without breathing. It is the life force energy of all things. And so, First of all, it was this wonderful, deep, the infinity sign. It's the sign of eternity, infinity, forever, eternity. So as we breathed in light and breathed it through, there was a pause between. And that's called the still point of creation. And back then, that pause was the time it was pregnant with thought. It was complete. It was a time. Of, we don't. We don't know how long that lasted. But that was the moment of power and contemplation, and that's even the meaning of the meditation process. To hold in that purity, feel that energy come in, and then pause in that sacred moment and feel that, feel the power of that. That is what kept us alive and growing and, and empowering us. And that is what now has diminished us and taken away our power and fogged our brain and helped us, we are, have become ineffectual. We have become so dependent now that the game we feel is that we, instead of have, 
taking advantage of our solar power center, we made our solar plexus our power center and these three lower chakras of survival and the sexual energy and power and, 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 and uh, negativity. And we started this dance of inter attaching energetic cords to each other, thinking that that was the way we were going to get our energy. If I can control you and I can you did not, not consciously, but unconsciously, subconsciously. And that started this dance of duality and of the masculine, the battle between the masculine, masculine and feminine nature. The battle of the sexes is really a battle be, amongst our, in our own mind of not taking our power and our will along with the love and compassion, of unifying the right and left hemispheres of our brain and bringing them back into harmony. That's what we're, we're talking about, unity consciousness. The unity consciousness has to begin here balancing and harmonizing the lower part of our body with the higher part of our body, balance the right and left hemisphere of the brain, and accepting both our masculine and feminine divinity, those wonderful attributes, qualities, virtues, and talents that are available to us that need each other. We need our sacred heart. We need our sacred mind. We need to use our sacred mind overlaid with the love and compassion of the sacred heart. And we can't just radiate love and, and focus on the sacred heart because we need the intellect the, and the intuition and the power of the Divine Father. And, and in order to create the thought form, it takes all of our physical vessel. Our physical vessel was so beautifully attuned. We, it, it was all with a chakra system. It's almost like seven different mind centers within the body, but they all lived in harmony, in perfect unison. And so it's been like a battle going on within us that radiated out in that infinity sign from us, creating the chaos, the negativity, or the balance and harmony within our reality. You're sending out your future from the front, and you're dragging along with you whatever is in your past. Like that's why they say, heal the past so that you may go into the future. And so, you've, and we've talked about this too, you've heard uh, that you, in the Bible, you will be visited by seven generations of your ancestry that you chose. We have holograms within our body as well as living in holograms. It's a holographic universe. It's a holographic reality for within our DNA, are those past life holograms, the attributes, qualities, and virtues, and also the mistakes and the challenges and the negativity and all, all, all of the miscreations that we have. And that's what we're doing. As you go through the breathing and you go through the process that Michael has given us, you are healing. Get this strongly in your mind. We are not moving forward on a linear, time-based, future. Time is becoming malleable. We are spiraling back into the future as we're spiraling upward into the higher frequencies. Not necessarily upward in space, but into higher frequency patterns of the future as we balance and harmonize those negative energies, frequencies, and vibrations from the past. Why do you think you're having so much problem within your physical body now? Why are we having all these ascension symptoms? Why is all this going on? It has to be healed. There's no way around it. And so if you can get that in your mind, and if you do nothing else right now, for the next, until the next time we meet, will you do something for us? Will you practice the infinity breath for just a short time, whatever, morning and night? Will you do it with intention? In other words, focusing on bringing in that energy and moving it through your body. Breathe in light and breathe out love. And if you're breathing out love and you have scripted your future, it's the adding to particles that are going to activate those and begin to send it out in your infinity sign 
and is going to go back in the past and heal the past. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that magical? Why wouldn't you want to take advantage of it? So will you do that with us for a brief time in the morning? I like to do it before I get up as I awaken. And I may do it again sometime during the daytime, breathe with intention, but I, I do make sure I do before I fall asleep. And it helps me to fall asleep too. So let's have an experiment. And then if you want to, email us and tell us of your successes and your miracles. What do you think about that? Thank you, Rhonda. You don't need to email us, so you can just comment down below. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you heal the past? We heal the past by healing ourselves. And not only do we heal ourselves, we heal our ancestral lineage as well when we do that. And... Um, of course, uh, how do we script our future? Well, we decide what we want to have in our lives and we have clear, clear intentions and clear uh, an image of what that might be. And how do we live in the moment? By being mindful, by being present, by when we eat our food, to be present in the moment eating our food, by if we're uh, washing dishes by being present in, in the moment, washing our dishes, not washing dishes, worrying about what we're going to do later, so forth, that kind of thing. So that's how we heal the past, script our future, and live in the moment. It's called self-awareness. Yes, yes. Much love and many blessings. <laughs> See you next time. From our hearts to yours. We're expecting big things from you. Bye, Bye -bye. for now.